A German company called IG Farben expanded in 1939 when it opened an American division in New Jersey. That same year, after an acquisition and a merger, it became General Aniline and Film, or GAF. In the early days of the company, and even into the 1970s, it was involved in the manufacture of film and photography supplies. What GAF became known for, at least in the industrial world, was a line of construction materials for things like roofing, siding, insulation, and flooring. They also made paint. When the United States entered World War II, the federal government seized GAF and took control of the company until 1965 due to its German affiliation. Once the company went public again, it acquired the Ruberoid Company, then became known as GAF Materials Corporation and eventually just GAF Corporation by 1968. Ruberoid was a well-known asbestos company that manufactured roofing supplies. This acquisition was the entrance point for GAF into the asbestos industry. Not only did it gain a line of products with the purchase, but it also gained ownership of an asbestos mine in Vermont. Miners, construction workers, roofers, and insulation workers were all among the trades that risked developing asbestos-related diseases from working for GAF or with their products. The mine was shut down in 1975, yet some of their products contained asbestos into 1981. After the 1980s, GAF became known as GI Holdings, Inc. Reportedly, it faced 70,000 asbestos injury cases between 1996 and 2000. This pushed the company to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in January of 2001. Its bankruptcy trust, the GI Holdings Inc. Personal Injury Settlement Trust, was finalized in 2009. The current payment percentage is 5%, which is a slight decrease from 7.4% in 2021. In 2022, 20,793 claims were filed with the trust according to its annual financial report. The report also details that $28 million was paid out in claims in 2022, contributing to the total of $342 million the trust has paid since it was established. We've helped thousands of people receive compensation for their asbestos injuries. Let us help you.